Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Innova just dropped the Halo Wraith. We're gonna go test it out, see how it throws. Let's go. Hey part timers, welcome back to the channel. The Wraith is a perennial favorite from Innova. It's gotta be up there with the Firebird, the Destroyer. I mean, this is probably one of the better 11 speed discs you're gonna find out there. Every other disc golf company is trying to copy this out there, but one of the originals, the Wraith, has got to be a really good stable bombing disc. And now it's in halo plastic, which usually means it's going to be even more stable. So we're going to test it out and see if this is a nice stable disc or if it's got some flip to it. Let's go. Numbers on a Wraith are 11, 5, negative 1, 3. But in halo plastic, I got to imagine it's probably more like an 11, 5, 0, 3 or 0, 2. Usually the halo plastic is a little bit beefier. This has got some really good dome to it too, if you check that out, which dome discs usually mean it's gonna go further because it's got more glide on it. And sometimes it also means it's gonna be more stable too. All right, let's try it out. Oh yeah, yep, good and stable, lots of glide. That's beautiful. All right, just to compare that, I've got a, another star Wraith here. This is not Halo. It's got a little bit of dome to it, not as much, 171 grams. Let's try this one out. See, that just goes a lot straighter, longer, and then the hookup. All right, right there is a great comparison between the Halo version and just the regular star version right there. The Halo is nice and beefy with great glide. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, what I usually do when I get a new disc, take it out to the field, get a good baseline for what it's gonna fly like, and then head to the course. Today, you're gonna kind of get a two in one. I'm gonna basically do some field tests here, then I'm gonna head and throw a couple holes, maybe just one hole if I got time for it with this new Wraith. Also, I got the racer video if you wanna check that out. Brand new mold, supposed to be like a destroyer that's nice and beat in. Is it? I don't know. Click the link and find out. All right, guys, I expected this to be nice and beefy and it's a good beefy. It's not like super meat hook beefy, but definitely got some good Wraith beef on this. All right, let's do a little Anheuser throw and see how this comes out of it. There we go, nice Anheuser. Watch it come out of there. Oh, beautiful. Went so far, hit the trees. Just to kind of compare how just a normal Star Wraith flies, I'm gonna throw this on a similar angle. There we go. See how that holds that Anheuser a lot longer and now it's coming out of it. So yeah, guys, this Halo Wraith, you wanted it, you got it. We got the beef. All right, let's do two more throws with this and then we're gonna head out to the course. Nice beefy disc like this should be great for forehand. Let's try it on some forehands. Oh, all day long, beautiful. Forehand guys, you're gonna love this. Definitely get you one of these. One more forehand. Slight Anheuser, goes so far, nice stable finish. Oh my gosh, guys, this is gonna be a forehand crushing disc all day long. Hey, let's go to the course now. All right, we're out here at Angry Beaver. We're gonna kind of do a situational shot. We're basically where you'd be off the drive. So this is gonna be our second throw on a par five. We've got about 650 feet left to go. Should be no problem to do a nice big hyzer. Hyzer, maybe give ourselves a birdie chance. That should be no problem for this nice stable wraith here. Can you handle the hyzers? I think she can. Knife down, baby, come on. Yes, perfect. Great position. All right, Wraith put us in a great spot. We're left with about 350 hyzer baskets sitting over there. The Wraith wants to hyzer all day, especially in this halo plastic, should be no problem. Guys, I'm a little shocked. I'm kind of doing this review at the same time I did the racer. Racer outdrove the Wraith by a good 80, maybe even 90 feet. And I threw them about the same strength. Go check out that racer. If you haven't seen my review, it's up here. All right, here we go, Wraith. Can she hyzer? Yes, she can. Oh my gosh. 
Wow. Okay guys, that thing goes far and it loves to hyzer. All right guys, the Wraith is a perennial favorite from Innova. This Halo one, man, she's beefy, but it's a good beefy. I think you guys are gonna like it. The Wraith did its job, got me a little bit outside a circle. Guys, this racer, like I'm telling you, got me inside circle, got like a 12 foot putt left, but we're back onto the Wraith. This Wraith is good, nice and beefy. If you really like a beefy Wraith, Got my Yetis here. See if we can drain a little birdie putt. Come on, Wraith. Yeah, let's go. See, the Wraith even makes the Yeti even better too. Well guys, if you're a Wraith fan, I definitely recommend checking out this new Halo version of it. I mean, they look sick. Got such a sweet design on it. I love the label that it's on it too, but a Wraith is a Wraith, and this is a nice beefy one. You need to have a nice stable Wraith type disc in your bag, especially on windy days. I think this is the one. All right, well, if you guys are looking to get a disc like this, head on over to Disc Golf Deals USA. If you wanna check my racer video out, you guys know where to go too. All right, until I see you next time, peace out. <laughs>